If your house was built before 1990, it probably has asbestos containing materials. Asbestos materials in and around the home are often best left alone if they are in good condition and unlikely to get damaged. If you're thinking about renovating or doing home maintenance and need to know if asbestos is present, we can help. All Northern Rivers Councils provide subsidised household asbestos testing and disposal kits that will assist you to test and, if necessary, remove and dispose of it safely. We strongly recommend using a licensed asbestos removalist to remove and dispose of asbestos waste. If you have more than 10 square metres of bonded asbestos or any quantity of friable asbestos, it must be removed by a licensed asbestos removal contractor. Our list of contractors is available on the New South Wales Safe Work website or you can check the yellow pages. The rest of the information provided in this video only applies to the testing or removal and disposal of up to 10 square metres of bonded asbestos containing material, which was commonly used as flat fibro and corrugated roof sheeting and compressed asbestos cement sheet for pipes and floor tiles. As a rule of thumb, if you aren't sure if a material contains bonded asbestos, just assume that it does and treat it accordingly or do a test to confirm. Our household asbestos testing kits help you to safely and easily take a sample and send it to a licensed laboratory for testing. The kit contains P2 disposable mask, three Ziploc bags, postal satchel, a sample submission form, step-by-step -step instruction sheet. You will also need the following some PVA glue, small spray bottle containing water, paint or sealant and a paintbrush, pliers or a suitable hand tool to break off a sample, wet wipes or similar to clean the hand tool, and a permanent marker or pen. To safely take a suitable sample, put on the P2 disposable mask, which is approved for this purpose, Choose a representative part of the material to take the sample, which should be no bigger than a 20 cent piece. Use the spray bottle to dampen the material before sampling to suppress any dust release. Seal it and use the marker pen to write the following details onto the bag. Your name, the words asbestos sample, Location the sample was taken from, for example, the bathroom ceiling, and your address. At the sampling spot, paint any damaged or exposed material that may potentially release dust. If taking another sample from a different location, complete the previous steps one to five. Clean your hand tool thoroughly with a wet wipe, then place the wipe the mask and the sealed and labelled sample bag or bags into the larger Ziploc bag and seal it securely. Complete the sample submission form. It's recommended that you keep a photocopy for your own records. Place the completed form and the sealed bag containing the samples and other items into the postal satchel and seal it. Post the satchel in the mail and you're all done. The results of your test will be emailed to you within three to five working days of them being received. Further information is available with the test kit or you can contact your council or refer to the Northeast Waste webpage. Placing asbestos in your curbside bin or amongst other materials taken to your local landfill presents a serious health risk to your household as well as to council landfill staff and the general public. It's considered to be illegal dumping and may result in heavy fines. It's really not worth the risk. Remember, you can get a household asbestos testing or disposal kit from your local Northern Rivers Council, or for more information, contact your council or visit Northeast Waste at newaste.org.au forward slash asbestos.